Good night, the monkeys. Sleep tight, the monkeys. And don't jump on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good night, the monkeys. Sleep tight, the monkeys. I don't let the bed bugs bite the monkeys. And don't jump on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good night, the monkeys. Sleep tight, the monkeys. And don't jump on the bed. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And I mean it too. Can I the monkey? Sleep a tie the monkey. And don't jump on the Oh never mind, you're just gonna do it anyways, aren't you? Then? One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on it. Hey, wait a minute. There really are no more monkeys jumping on this bed. Well, 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 you know what that means, don't you? Um, no, what does that mean? Well, it means that there's plenty of room for me to jump on the bed. Woohoo! Jumping on your bed, jumping on your bed, jumping on your bed, jumping on your... Oh, my goodness! What did you... Somebody call me a doctor. Oh. Are you clapping? I can't... I can't see you. Just a minute. What's going on here? I don't know about this new... Fangly stuff. Let to do. Hey, come here. What am I doing? All right, am I on? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, my name is Father Goose, and you might have heard of me. I'm a very famous guy. What? You've never heard of me? Oh, have you heard of Mother Goose? Yeah, I'm Father Goose. Everybody knows about Mother Goose. Nobody knows about Father Goose. Something fell down here. What's going on? So, hey, wow, this is it. Live theater. I'm so glad you could join us here in the basement. Uh, Mother Goose was supposed to be here to tell you the stories, but we made a mistake, and, and, and she's off today. This is her day off, and uh, I have to do all the chores, including the storytelling. The only problem is I don't I don't know these stories very well usually mother goose tells them and i don't listen to anything she says anymore so i don't know them but i'm going to try to remember them i should have checked my lights with the hat on that was a big mistake okay you can see it i made it myself okay so i'm going to tell you the stories and i'm going to show you the stories in a kind of thing called shadow puppetry very old and very cool and i hope that you will like it. and if i make a mistake you know just bear with me because what do you want for free? Okay, so let's get ready to do the next one. I'm going to switch them in the camera. Boom. And then I'm going to go over here. La, 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 la. Then I'm going to switch the light bulb. Boom.
boom. Oh, I got to work on that part. Don't be nervous if you hear a funny sounds like this. That's just, um, I'm cleaning up the puppets. They make a little bit of noise. Right. So, oh, here there is this um, nursery rhyme that I stole from my good friend, Peter Allen. Yeah. This is the one about the guy named Jack. Do you know the one about Jack? Um, maybe if I give you a hint, you will know this one. Da -da -de -do. Here comes a hint. Uh, yep. Boop. See? Right. This is the one. <clears throat> Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Boom. Jack jump over the candle. No, I'm not jumping over this thing. It's on fire. I know, playing with fire, it's not a good idea, but I got an idea like this. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, now I can blow out the candle. Like a one, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> now I can jump over it easy like this. Woo-hoo. Backwards. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. And, and, and you know what the moral of that one is, boys and girls? Is I'm available for birthday parties. Right. How do you know? So the next one is the one that's a nursery rhyme about the guy named Willie. Do you know that one about the Willie? Um, I was hoping you would know it because I don't remember it very well. But we'll try. Um, let's see if we can. It's um, We Willie. Winky, that's the name of it. At least I got that part right. We Willy Winky ran through the crowd. Um, he ran up the stairs and he ran down the stairs in his nightgown. It's we Willy Winky ran through the town upstairs. Down. Oh, oh, yeah, he was winking, wink, 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 wink. Okay, because his name is Wee Willy Winky. So then he was winking, and to be perfectly honest with you all. Uh, he was weeing everywhere. Um, I got a little problem here. My I'm all messed up. Oh, I got to go wee. Yeah, I'm still messed up. Hold on. Uh, yeah, on the count of three, I'm going to go wee. One, that's my name. Wee, Willie. One, two, three. Wee! <laughs> yeah, wee! Wee, 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 wee. Uh, all the way home. <laughs> clean up clean up oh now is the part where i gotta come out and talk to you about the next one which is a story about jack do you know one about jack let's see if you know the one about jack that i know this one is called jack and the beanstalk no it's not that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about jack and jill now, a lot of people and kids, they say they know the Jack and Jill. And then I find out that they don't know all of it. So if you know it, say it with me now so that I know you know it, right? Say it loud because I'm in Connecticut. Where the heck are you? So uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill, right there, it's a hill, and fetched a pail of water. And Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Second verse, do you know the second verse? Up Jack got, and with they jot as fast as he could caper to old Nurse Dob, who fixed his knob with vinegar and brown paper. What in the heck does that mean? Well, I tell you, Jack fell down, and he got a boo-boo on his crown. That's the roundy toppy part like that. See, that's my crown. It's like where you would wear a crown if you had one. Yeah. So he fell down, got a boo-boo on his crown, went to the nurse. Nurse gave him like a band-aid. Except they haven't invented the band-aids yet. So instead of a band-aid, they're using vinegar and brown paper. I don't know why. That's just what they do. So now I will tell you hello and goodbye. Boom. The one about Jack and or Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch the pail of water. But Jack fell down. Oh, e ow, oh, owie, owie, ow. And Jill, he broke his crown. And Jill, 
Oh, he ah! came tumbling after. Then up Jack got and with a jot as fast as he could caper to old a nurse Dob who fixed his knob with vinegar and brown paper. Send in the next patient, please. What is your name? My name is Jack. What's your problem, Jack? Well, I think I broke my crown. What? What are you talking about? Your broken crown? I've never even heard about that. What do you mean? Oh, I mean like this. Wow. That's a broken crown. Let me see that again. Wow, wow, wow. That's a really broken crown. My goodness. All right. Well, we got to... No, open the lid. Keep it open. There we go. Now, lean on down. We got to get rid of the germs. And we, So, here we go. This is going to sting a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. And now for the hard part is the brown paper. Don't be nervous. Don't be... I just going to put on the brown paper there like that. How you feel now? And that's healthcare in America. There we go. Now that we put... I can't see what's next. Hold on. Boom, boom. Oh, my goodness. Well, I tell you, boys and girls, the next one is one that usually starts with, the, with my light off. Uh, and then I put up this fancy smancy thing that I, I made. And this one is a um, song. And this is a song about a lady. What's that one? Oh, the very unusual appetite I can't stop yawning oh it must be nap time go Blah. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. I know an old lady who swallowed... Oh, I shouldn't say that. Oh, boy. I know an old lady who swallowed a... It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside it. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know, I know, like that's what I know, I know, lady who swallowed a. How absurd! She swallowed a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll... I know an old lady who swallowed a... Imagine that. She swallowed the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the... And swallowed the bird to catch the... Are you doing this part? It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the... I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll... I know an old lady who swallowed a... What a hog. She swallowed dog. She... I swallowed the dog to catch the cat. I swallowed the cat to catch the bird. I swallowed the bird to catch the spider. It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the... I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. She opened her throat and then down went the goat. She I swallowed the goat to catch them. Do you know? Swallowed the dog to catch them. Swallowed the cat to catch them. Swallowed the bird to catch them. Your turn. That. Oh, thank you for singing. Swallowed the spider to catch the. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I know an old lady who swallowed a. I don't know how, but she swallowed a cow. 
She swallowed the cow to catch them. And swallowed the goat to catch them. Swallowed the dog to catch them. Swallowed the cat to catch them. Swallowed the bird to catch them. Wait a minute, how did that get in there? That's not the right one. Swallowed that thing to catch this thing. It did that thing, did the other thing, then it did it one more time. Swallowed the spider to catch the... I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll... I know an old lady who swallowed a... No. She's dead, of course. Now, don't worry. Um, she's not really dead, you see. I don't know if you know this or not, but puppets are not real. Yeah. So I thought. Hey, I'm back. Uh oh. Hey, hey, hey. I pushed the wrong button. I want to do this. And hey, well, welcome back. Wasn't that exciting? Mm. Uh, hey, um, I thought I would show you about the puppet because puppets aren't real and they can't get hurt. And, and, that, and that's why it can be funny if they bulk or bop or, or whatever. So. I hope you're back because I'm going to switch to another camera and do this again backwards. Let's see if we could do that. And I'm not, I'm there. Don't worry. See? But now you're backstage. Yes. And so this is my backstage. Do, 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 do. Hello. I'm going to tilt you up a bit if I can. I'm having trouble with that. Hi. So I shouldn't have messed with the camera. Here is my screen and a light and the screen leans forward. And I'm able to tack up the old lady like that. And then I just move them around such. Now give me a quick moment because this is surely educational. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to put everybody back in order because there are a lot of puppets in this one. And I'm going to do it one more time backwards. Not doing it backwards, because that would mean she'd be throwing those things up, and that's really gross. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'm going to do backstage tour. Doo -doo -doo. And then you could appreciate how marvelous I am at doing a gazillion puppets at once. So I would do... Don't need that one. So, I know an old lady who swallowed a... I don't know how, but she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. It's one of the goat to catch the dog. That's why that happens. It's one of the dog to catch the. It's one of the cat to catch the. It's one of the bird to catch the. This is where I could take a little breather. Hopefully you laugh. And uh, uh, no, she swallowed that thing to catch this thing. Did that thing? Did that thing? Then it did it one more time. Swallowed the spider to catch the. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll. I so this is a shadow puppet and oh let me turn this on this is what fell before Pish! see if we can get me in there more because I'm very important la 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 nope all right I'll play to you uh you can make shadow puppets very quickly very easily out of cardboard from cereal boxes and you could use chopsticks or you could use bendy straws and and do like that yeah, and this big one, she's got a second piece here that is taped and it opens like a drawbridge. And I have a rod and a string that pulls the rod down and elastics that pull it up, kaboinger. And that's how I do that. Yes, yes, yes. Now I got to clean up. This is all part of the gig. And then I'm going to do another one for you. As soon as I switch to my camera, out front. Are you going to stay there? Or are you going to fall down? Oh. oh, my goodness. I think you're going to like this next one. I hope you're going to like this next one. I hope I can get to do this next one without turning my broadcast off again. 
11 people. Like, I don't know. Do -do. I want this one. This one. All right. I'm going to say next. Do you know how to skip? Skip. This is a wine about a little lady, and it has parts that rhyme, and you can rhyme along if you want. I go like this. Here, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> oh, there's a good puppy. Now, puppy, I want you to sit down. I said sit down. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to stay there. I want you to stay. Stay. I said stay. La, 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 la. No, stay. What are you doing? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and so the poor dog had none. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no bones for you today. What? Oh. She went to the baker's to buy him some bread. But when she came back, the poor dog was sad. Oh, he's so sad. Give me a bone. I'm going to cry. I'm crying like a baby. I want a bone. He went, wait, wait. <laughs> way, 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 way. No, don't worry. I'm not really crying. I'm just acting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exit stage right. Bing! Wait, no, hey, come on now. You, you, you cuckoo dog. She went to the market to buy him some fruit. And when she came back, he was playing a flute. But a bird of do that. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bing! Wait, no, hey, come on. Now. Where in the world did he get a flute from? She went to the market to buy him a wig, and when she came back, he was dancing the jig. Hey, I'm the Lord of the Dance. Thank you. I think he's more like the Lord of the Silly Heads, if you ask me there. She went to the market to buy him a coat, and when she came back, he was riding a yeehaw. Oh, my goodness. She went to the market to buy him a hat. When she came back, he was feeding. Okay, kitty. Open up a tunnel because here come the choo-choo train. Chooka 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 chooka. Woo woo. Okay, kitty. Say ah. Meow. No, no, no. Say ah. Meow. No, kitty. So simple, please. Just open up. Say ah. Meow. What? Well, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. <clears throat> she went to the market to buy some pantyhose. And when she came back, that dog was dressed up in her clothes. The dame made a curtsy and the dog made a bow. The dame said, your servant. And the dog said, bow, wow. Nice, nice, very nice. I think I got two more pieces for you. Clean up. Can you hear that at home? You go, <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's see here. This one is one that has some scenery. And I just worked to make it more translucent. Let's see if we see what we're supposed to see. Huh. I might come out and see. No, I'll wait. I'll watch it later. All right. Do you know what it is? It's a big hint there. It's nursery rhyme. It goes like this. Uh, e, uh, uh. Humpty Dumpty sat on the... No, no. No more sitting on the wall. I'm tired of sitting on the wall like a bump on the log. I'm going to do exercises, and that's going to make me healthy. So I'm going to do uh, jumping jacks. Here we go. Jumping jack and a jumping jack and a jumping jack and a jumping jack. And then I'm going to do exercises by walking on stilts. Ho, ho. Look how tall I am. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh. Ah, ooh, ah. And then I'm going to do exercises by learning how to fly. And then I'm going to do exercises by learning how to dive from the sky. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, no more sitting around like a bump on a log. I'm gonna live an extreme lifestyle. Get it? Extreme. Oh, never mind. 
Oh, look what I found there. Oh, it's a penny. I found a penny. I found a penny. Let me just pick that penny up. And, oh, no! All the king's horses and all the king's men tried to put Humpty back together again. All right, you horses, you get the Humpties, we'll get the Dumpties. Let's go, put them back together there. All right, good work there. Good as new. <laughs> la, 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 da, da. Be, de, be, be. Ba, be, 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 miss having an audience. It really covers up transitions nicely, doesn't it? Um, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we get to do this. And I'm so happy that you are able to take a moment out of your busy schedules. And I hope this show brings you a little bit of, of, of laughter and a spring in your step. So... Um, I'm going to do one more piece and then maybe I can go out to see if I can talk to you via comments, right? So this one is a fun story of the runaway pancake genre. Did you know that was a thing? There's a whole series of stories about runaway cookies and pancakes and what have you. And this is the one I think you might be very familiar with. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady. And once upon a time, there was a little old man. And they were kind of hungry and they were kind of lonely. So the little old lady went to the kitchen to make a gingerbread man. Now, when she put that gingerbread man into the oven, the whole house smelled delicious. And the little old man went to the kitchen to open up the oven, not to eat it, but just to peek to see when it would be done. He opened it up just a little bit and out jumped the gingerbread man. And then the little old lady came running out of the kitchen and she said, gingerbread man, you get back in that oven. You are not done cooking yet. And the little old man said, never mind the oven. Get in my belly. I want to eat you up. And the gingerbread man said, run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. Quick, let's catch him. I want to eat him. Oh, yes. I'd like to bite off his head. So the little old lady and the little old man, they were chasing after the gingerbread man who was running and running and running. And right behind them, it was the little old lady, the little old man, they were running and running and running. Well, they ran and ran all the way into the fields where there was a cow who said, Moo, what is that delicious smell? <laughs> I'm a gingerbread man. I ran away from a little old lady and a little old man, and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. Well, the cow said, I bet that gingerbread man would taste much better than grass. So the cow was chasing after the gingerbread man who was running and running and running with the little old lady and the little old man. They were running and running and running. Now the cow, she didn't like to run so much, but she had another way to get around. Well, they ran and they ran all the way to a school where there was a little boy and a little girl. The girl said, what is that delicious smell? <laughs> I'm a gingerbread man. I ran away from a little old lady and a little old man. And I can run away from you too. I can, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a... Did you say that home? <laughs> Thank you. Um, Let's catch him. I want to eat him. Yeah, I want to bite off his head. <laughs> Well, then it was like a parade, you see, because the gingerbread man was running and running and running and running. And the little old lady and the little old man, they were running and running and running and running. And the cow, she it was she was nice. And she gave a ride to the little boy and the little girl. <laughs> well, they ran and ran all the way to the river and the gingerbread man said oh no how would i ever get across this river and then do you know who showed up it was a fox and the fox wanted to eat the gingerbread man but did not want to chase him so the fox said 
gingerbread man, why don't you get on my back? I'm swimming across that river, and I will give you a ride. Oh, boy, a piggyback ride, a piggyback ride, a piggyback ride, a piggyback ride. Calm down, please. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's back, and the fox jumped into the water, and he began to swim. He swam, and he swam farther and farther away from the shore until at least last he was at the deepest part of the water and the fox said gingerbread man i don't think i can keep my head above the water why don't you jump to my uh, my back i'm getting wet i don't know what i'm saying i'm making it up as i go along why don't you jump to my tail oh okay and then he said no ow that kind of hurts gingerbread man do you think you could jump to to, to my head okay and then he jumped to the head and then the fox said no ow Ooh, you're you're stepping on my, you're not even standing on me you're just floating in there we go all right now oh this is hurting you're standing on my ears why don't you jump to the tip of my nose oh really i think it's a very good idea so the gingerbread man jumped high high into the air and he came down 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 right into the fox's mouth who was so happy to have such a tasty snack the end <laughs> hey Wow, cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, dogs of all ages, that, I think, is just about the ending of the show. I hope that you like the show. Oh, look who's here. Thank you. Good to see you guys. Uh, that was my experiment. Thanks for being a part of it. Uh, now is the time to jump onto the uh, comments if you want. Uh, I'm on a seven-second delay, I believe. So talk real slow. Um, I will say to people who is there, uh, hello, Charles. Hello, Carol. Hello, good news, Gus. Hi, Harry. Hi, Mark Siegel. Is that, how you, is that your name? Mark Siegel. Thanks. Thanks. Sir. Are you the one posting to Philadelphia? Thank you for that. You Philadelphia gilding my Facebook page. Hi, hi, hi. All right. Um, Hey, Audra, thank you so much for joining. And John Little and Sharon Lewis. Hey, wow, thank you so much. Well, um, that I think is a good enough show uh, for free. Uh, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to do this maybe every other week. Uh, if you have um, comments or suggestions, uh, times or what have you, um, I would say email me, nappy. N-A-P-P-Y at nappiespuppets.com. Bring on the emails. Uh, starting next Monday through Friday, I'll be, be teaching a class online. But after that, I'd love to be able to chat, hear from you. Uh, I thought Thursday was a good day. 10 a.m. is always a good day for kids. Let's build up the audience, and uh, maybe I'll see you here again. And uh, since I only have four shows, you know, I got to uh, stretch it out. Or maybe I can invite some guest people or we could collaborate. Good idea. Well, hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, have a great weekend. Have a great day. And I'll say see you later, alligators. Bye-bye. Okay, how do I stop? Let's do this. <laughs>